Welcome to part 2 of my Dino Megazord review. Next up we're going to be looking at the Dino Zords in their individual forms. And I'm going to take them and put them into the tank mode, which leads into the Dino Megazord. Which I'll show in my third and final part of the review. But first up, we're going to have a look at Pterodactyl. This guy is not a dinosaur, he is a pterosaur. Or similar creatures to the dinosaurs. Well, it's about the Cretaceous period, but... It's really nice sticker art. Really nice red color. Really nice sculpt. It's nice and hollow, so it fits into the Dino Megazord easily. Um, wings can go in and out. And the head can go up like that. It's a nice line. Head can do some bobbing action. Um, got these cannons for feet. We can blast whoever's in our way. Really nice sticker artwork. Really nice sculpt. I really do like this one. Not my favorite, but really, really cool nonetheless. But to get her all ready for tank mode. Pop off our feet here. We're gonna take these wings, fold them in, and she's all ready to get strapped into the car. <laughs> Next up, Super Dude Tiger. Probably the second most articulated in the set. Uh, the fangs can go up and down like so. The legs can do some rolling action. The legs can go. In and out of little slots here. And the guns can go in and out. Gun or tail, whatever you want to call it. Also, uh, this one doesn't have wheels like the original one did, but that's no big deal. This one has some more TV accurate stickers. Which I think is really cool. So I like my toys. TV show accurate. Don't we all? Anyway, get her all ready. Plug in her feet. Like this. I'm gonna fold in the tail. I'm gonna fold up the fangs. Like this. You don't really have to do this, but it's the way it was done on the TV show. You wanna bring up the legs. Pause. And she's all ready to go. Sit next to the pterodactyl. Next up, Triceratops, probably the least articulated of the set, still really cool, this guy is probably my third favorite, but uh, head can go up and down, tail can go in and out, it's got the TV show accurate stickers too, which I think is really cool, nice detail, back, Nice detail on the bottom. Like I said, no wheels. Like the original one, but that's alright. No big deal. Get him all ready. Probably has the uh, hardest transformation out of all of them. That's it. Nice and simple. Just the way I like it. I guess you can kind of being acted like on the TV show where it showed the back, you know, it showed it fold up like that. So if you want to do like a stop motion, it'd be really cool. Next up, Mastodon. This one came with the stickers already on them, which is really cool. I think I'd have a hard time putting these stickers on myself. Some nice green eyes to hypnotize you with. Let's get some nice. Sticker art back in the front. The head can do some jolting action. The legs can do some galloping action, like he's running through the forest or something. And the shoulders can do some jolting action. You can have them up like that if you want to, but it's kind of goofy. But, um, I him already. I'm gonna kill him with his head off at. Oh no! I need this 
gonna open them up. You wanna bring up these arms a bit. Bring them out like that. And you wanna take the pterodactyls cannon feet and plug them in. People, some people do that last, but I like to do it now. And um, he's all ready to go. And say the best for last. The Tyrannosaurus Rex. Or the Tyrannosaurus. Probably has the most articulation. It can go up and down. The legs have some nice articulation. It's got some nice pointy knees, which... The Zords can slide easily into in the vehicles if you want to. As it goes more towards them. Um, arms can go up and down. Like that. And the mouth can open up. Oh, ooh, I'm hungry for a hamburger. It's also got a nice flamethrower in there, which should have been for the red dragon, because that the dragon I don't recall a Tyrannosaurus blowing fire on anybody. Unless you count Godzilla, but I don't know what kind of dinosaur he is. This guy's my second favorite, next to the Dragon Zord. Which, fortunately, Bandai has not made a toy of him yet, but hopefully they do soon. But to get him already, you want to get him into this kind of position. Bring his head down. He's in. And it's all ready to go. So, you want to take your saber to Tiger. And you just, you know. Hopper in there like that. You want to take the triceratops, do the same thing, the other leg. And you should look something like that halfway through. Next up, you want to take your mastodon with the pterodactyl feet. You want to plug them into the tabs right here on the back of the tyrannosaurus. Bring them up a bit. You should look something like that. You want to take the mastodon head. You want to pull out the little tab like this. You want to plug it into the little hole. The chest here. And you want to take the pterodactyl. You can see the little tabs right there. You just want to plug them into the little hole on the back of the mastodon feet. This part's a little stubborn, but. It does go in, eventually. And there you got the Dino Zords in tank mode. Really, 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 it does look nice. Really wish they used this more on a TV show, instead of going right to the Dino Mega Zord. But, still really, really cool. You know, the tank. You know, tanks. Blow things up and whatnot. Remember this guy zapping the enemy a couple times on the TV show, which I thought was really cool. But, um, and it always like roll in like that before it turned into the Megazord. I love that stuff. That was really cool. Wow. Yeah, this is the mode that leads into the Dino Megazord mode, which is the mode we're gonna have a look at next. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. Enjoyed having a look at the dinosaurs in tank mode. And I will be back with part three real soon. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys later.